Hello, my friends. Jacob's here one more time. Thank you for pressing play, for joining me for another. This is such an, this is going to be such a, just there's so much stuff to discuss. There's so many weird things happening. It feels like every video I do, this one is jam packed, baby. You got so much stuff. We're going to be talking, we're going to cover everything. We're going to go for, for, we're gonna, from Trump to, to, to this, to that. We're, we're going all over the place. And I broke out the hoodie because, of course, John Fetterman, he's back. Remember him, John Fetterman? The <laughs> guy who, he dresses like this. He dresses like a slouch. I don't understand it. I think that people should probably, you know, I think you should just kind of show up, you know, with your, uh, your best on. But, I mean, maybe I'm an older generation. I don't know. John Fetterman, he, uh, he came back with a video, goofy little video, you know, because everybody was saying that he passed away. Remember, we talked about this on the show because Fetterman means a man in chains. <laughs> it's very symbolic. But yeah, so he did this video right here where he, uh, you know, he was talking. And he's like, oh, this is all just a, you know, a theory. It's not real. And then, of course, his twin shows up and, um, you know, the, uh, the, the, the uh, cat's out of the bag. Everybody knows. So I figured I'd wear the uh, God's Champion hoodie just in, you know, just uh, maybe maybe Fetterman can wear one of my God's Champion uh, hoodies in his next video. But maybe a little tighter one, tighter fitting one. Just just, just kind of just shape it up a little bit, John. Shape it up a little bit. Just strange the people that we have that are in charge of things, right? You know, it's almost like it's the, like the joke's on us. A lot of joke stuff going on all over the Twitter verse, right? I saw, I saw a tweet out from Ricky Gervais. You know, what was weird about this thing, you know Ricky Gervais, this guy? Supposedly the guy who called out everybody, all the evil, wicked people at the awards show where he talked about, you know, the island and a lot of other things and all the celebrities and all the memes that go around where the celebrities were in shock because he was calling them out because Ricky Gervais, he's a hero for the people. I thought to myself, is it more like just kind of like the, the system's kind of just telling you all what it is? Because I don't see anybody getting in trouble. He put out this tweet with him. It's so scary with the dog. He's like, have a fierce weekend. Fierce. It's like an attack dog. Talk about wolves on the show. You see, you see that picture. You think of like attack dogs coming and attacking you. This show that I'm about to uh, expand and open up to you. I hope that it's just all, just a little bit of worry and concern in my head. I hope that it's not, any of it is real. I hope that that was just kind of a, a goofy little meme, like have a fierce weekend. Not kind of like, I'm in on something here, and this is an inside joke. Because there seems to be a lot of inside jokes that go on with all the celebrities, with all their hand size and all their gestures and all their that. Yo, Mr. Beast! Mr. Beast, I did a show about him. Remember, he just gave sight to the blind. <laughs> I did a, hopefully, if you haven't seen that show, check that show out too. It was a good one. He just did a video just recently. I think it was his last video, like a week and a half ago or so, where he was, you know, going over what what's the best plane ride. You know, a dollar to like fifty fifty thousand dollar plane ride or something like that, or half a million dollar plane ride. And uh, this thumbnail, if you take a look at it, in the window. It's clearly seen. It looks like 666. You can't, you can't not see that. I see it. Do you see it? It looks like 666. DJ Dulce, Deuce, I think, um, I think shared that on Twitter. Oh, I have so many cool people that are hanging out with me on Twitter and sharing things on Twitter. I'm so grateful for all of you. If you're not following me on Twitter, you follow me on Twitter. But you know what you really should do? You should go to jacobisrael.com. That's my website. It's in the corner, right over there, I think, on this side of the screen. jacobisrael.com. It's free. Subscribe. There's an email subscription. And uh, so if I'm never not on here, you know, the big purge that's happening, a lot of people are losing their channels. I don't know why I ever would. I don't break the rules. And I preach love and tolerance, you know, forgiveness and understanding. But people, I guess maybe, maybe people that are in charge, I, if they do have a problem with people pointing out things that aren't right, maybe there'll be a problem uh, in the future for this channel. So subscribe to uh, jacobisrael.com for me, will you? So that we can always stay together, stay in a loop. All the descriptions to everything's in the video below. 
especially if you want to get the God's Champion uh, sweatshirt too. Which, by the way, way too hot under the lights. So I'm going to change. You see how quick that was? It's like magic. <laughs> magic. MAGA! It's like MAGA! It's witchcraft. There's a lot of witchcraft going on too. Now why are you saying that, Jacob? Why are you saying there's a lot of witchcraft going on? Well, because, uh, speaking of Twitter, Bette Midler, well, a lot of celebrities, I shouldn't just say Bette Midler, but a lot of celebrities are very, very upset that the blue check mark's gone and they're all complaining. They're all complaining. Meanwhile, like, you and me and mo most people on here, we're already, we've already been paying for it. We've already been doing it because, you know, what? it's like, we're like, hey, you know, we, we use the service, like, for me, it's, a, it's an important thing because I reach people, it's a new way to express myself, and I'm enjoying being there. So I don't mind spending the money for it because it's kind of like this is this is now kind of my job. It's to reach people. Sometimes there's a cost that's attached to it. But I, I don't like I don't like how they're you know favorites that are being played. Like Elon, you know, uh, Stephen King came out and he was like, I did not you know, pay for my blue check mark. I did not do this, I did not do that. And Elon was like, You're welcome. And I say to Elon, if you're listening, okay, and I know you are, do me a favor, will you? Don't play favorites, man. Stephen King doesn't even like you, dude. You know? It's like, don't be playing favorites, okay? Don't be playing favorites and giving anybody any free check marks. Especially when I'm paying $11. How am I? Why am I paying 11 Everybody's paying 8 I got to, like, supposedly cancel and I got to do it again. Twitter support's been helpful. I don't know. I don't know the way things are today. You know? I'm a very simple man. I'm a very simple man, but I think all the celebrities crying that it's like, oh, it should be free, and oh, it's not free anymore. It's just not free anymore. I'm not defending his decision to be a smart businessman and make a lot of money. I'm just saying it is what it is. Bette Midler, she came out, she's like, all of these years and thousands of tweets, woo! Because she, you know, she's like a witch, right? Remember her from Hocus Pocus? <laughs> Right? Remember her? And she's like, free content! I've given free content! This worm, calls Elon a worm, has the nerve to decertify me. So like the Bette Midler thing was going around. It was very, very funny. And I thought it was very, very funny because Bette Midler, all I could think of was Hocus Pocus and the fact that she's like a witch. Like, not a witch witch. I don't know if she really is or not. But I do know that she kind of represents that whole witchcraft theme, which is what we've been, we've, we've entered into, right? We've entered into, but I'm telling you, God's day is at hand. So all of this hocus pocus nonsense is going bye-bye. That's right. Even the news, even the news is saying that hocus pocus three may not happen. It's not looking good. Things are changing. I bet you the people that are in charge, I bet you the, they don't even know. They're doing all these things like they're disclosing everything. Everything's being disclosed right now. As if, as if we're, we're meatheads and we don't know any better. Doesn't matter if things are disclosed because nothing's going to change. Supposedly, Ashley Keller Little, she, uh, she at Jacob me and she put this out. Speaking of Elon Musk and, and uh, people on Twitter when the hocus pocus. And, uh, she, you know, Grimes, his partner, they have the, their child together. Which, by the way, I think recently, I think, I think Grimes changed... One, their baby's name to Y, I think. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. I'm not really sure how that all goes. She had shared some pictures of her and she'd bleached her hair and everything. I'm telling you, I mean, these celebrities are very interesting. They're very interesting people. And they're uh, very creative. I, I, I like, I think that, the, you know, naming your child Y is pretty funny. Y, come over here. And then they're like, because you're calling me? That's an answer. As Grimes pointed out, when your best friends... She did this on September 12th of 2022. So I guess this person pulled up an old tweet or something. When your best friends are chaos wizards and the Met theme is Elden Ring. So it's, I guess she's saying that there are chaos wizards that are causing a lot of chaos in the world. And one of them being Elon. I don't think he's into magic. I'll tell you what isn't numbered though is um, Alec Baldwin's sentence. He's been released. He's been let go. You know the thing with him? Shooting that film Rust. Yeah, you remember the news where uh, the d director of photography, Helena Hutchins, she got uh, she she died. She was she was. Some people say was killed, you know, because of um, 
the story goes, it was like the armor bearer or whatever. He, Alec Baldwin didn't know that it had live rounds. And of course, because it's a normal thing, I guess, to just point a, a gun at a director of photography and just shoot. But whatever, he's off the hook. He doesn't have to worry about anything anymore. You know, Biff Tannen um, on Twitter pointed out the uh, something I think I talked about a long time ago. The irony of um, Alec Baldwin being known for Hunt for Red October. You know, the, uh, the missile ship the missile sub from um, Russia, and the fact that Helena Hutchins's father was a, a sub, a Russian sub nuclear captain. So how funny is that? So the, you know, the guy who plays like someone on a nuclear sub, you know, and the daughter of somebody whose father who is a nuclear sub, it's just strange. But yeah, so he doesn't have to worry about anything. Helena's husband, um, Halia, I don't know if I'm even pronouncing her name right, but her husband is now going to be the executive producer on the show. So I'm not saying that like any deal was made or anything else like, hey, we'll make, we'll give you a lot of money. Let's just drop the chart. Let, let things go. I'm not saying any of that happened. God forbid, you know, you know, let's, let's just hope that, that really it was an accident. And, and, and I mean, God forbid, we don't want to, we don't, we don't really, a lot of people don't even think it happened. Okay. And I got to tell you something. It's just a sad day when tragedy strikes and we're like, how do we know it's real? That's the day we're in today. Isn't that nutty? It's almost like there are a bunch of chaos magicians messing with us. I say not to worry too much about the world system. You know, the only mention of the word rust in the scriptures is, I think it's, what is it, in Matthew? Matthew 6. It's, do not lay up yourself, well, it's don't lay, I don't know, it's like I'm going to read it, I know with these things. Don't lay yourself up treasure on earth, don't worry about things. Don't be, you know, focusing on your 401k or your 403b, it's going to probably go bye-bye. <laughs> all of this stuff is probably going to go bye-bye. Didn't, didn't you hear the news? just recently where if you have a good credit score, you're going to be paying more. You're going to be penalized for the people that don't. That was, that's like today's, today's news. It's interesting. Don't store up treasure here on earth where moth corrupts and rust destroys. Rust, right? It's don't focus on stuff like that. Instead, you know, instead for where your treasure is, your heart also is focus on the things of God. Focus on doing right by other people, by being encouraging, by being loving, by being helpful, by seeing things that are not and calling them as if they are. Saying, the Lord's kingdom is at hand. It doesn't matter what the enemy wants. It's not going to stand. The truth is, we are all in God's hand. And I'm a poet, and I know it, baby. Lyric move, uh, meteor showers going on right now it comes from Lyra. My buddy Lance just reached out to me to remind me it means harp. And in Revelation, we, we hear that the harps start to uh, are, are played by those 144,000. Well, why? Well, because the devil is burned. The dragon is cast into that lake of fire, if you will. It's a day for carnality to be extinguished. And now with Disney, their uh, their big their big featured dragon Murphy, which means sea warrior, caught on fire during its phantasmic event. Phantasmic, which is like a magical occurrence, kind of like a, a twist of fate. Ironically enough, it's for Maleficent, which is well, it's from this movie right here with Angelina Jolie, and it means to cause harm. But the dragon being caught on fire, I think it's a sign of good things, and I think all of us should start to play our harps, which is to be joyful, because the dragon's on fire, baby. You know what's funny? Is I just did a, um, I just did a video, I don't know if it was like a month ago, and I talked all about Trump's NFT, and the fact that it was like a big thing, and it was for Easter, this, this show right here. It's just strange that just a couple of weeks later, all of a sudden, he's out with all of his new NFTs. This one over here, and this one over here, and this one over here. And in every one of them, basically he's like a god. He's, he's pictured like a god. It's very strange. The chess piece in particular is spooky. Has a pentagram right over here. Has the, uh, the crown on top. Everything's the big T got the big T everywhere. This is just interesting to me. This one over here with the lion on the world, right? Very strange. The chess piece one, of course, reminded me very much of The Economist World Magazine cover in 2017. Because, of course, the chess piece, he's holding on to the scepter with the flag, and he's got, like, the earth in his hand, and he's got, like, the same kind of thing going on in that magazine cover. Strange. 
His first one was his first post back from Instagram where he was holding on to the Liberty Bell. Who's going to ring that bell? Who's going to ring that bell? Ringing the bell is a very symbolic thing. Ringing the bell. This is all very spooky if you start to think that maybe there's more to the story, but also very exhilarating. And also, it could mean nothing at all. I'm just a speculator here, speculating. I don't think that when um, Mar the Mariners, Julio Rodriguez is celebrating his home run win by Hold it on to the trident that that's a big deal. I don't think that's a big deal at all as he's celebrating with the trident and their new merchandise is see us rise. Get it like the sea is rising. I don't think that that's weird. I do think it's special though that on Earth Day, which is today when I'm taping this, Saturday, if I get it out tonight, great. If not, tomorrow. But Earth Day, guess what? The the, uh, the National Baseball League, what do they do? They put out this beautiful little video for Earth Day. Guess who's cleaning up the mess that's been left by all the people that just don't care about other people? The Angels. The Angels. I think that's something special. Speaking of the Trident, though, there's this guy on Twitter. I don't know who he is. Maybe he's a celebrity in other countries. His name's Kim.com. This Hello, guy right here. This is Kim.com. He put out a video, I think today, where he's selling his 911 Porsche. That's right. And uh, he's selling the Porsche and he's like, winter is coming. Why am I selling it? Because winter is coming, bitches. You know, kind of like, so what do I need a Porsche for? Well, <laughs> just, you know. You buy cars, you get rid of it every season? Or is there a deeper meaning? Is it a 911 Porsche? And is he saying winter is coming? Just like Ricky Gervais, where he's like, have a fierce weekend? Or all of them kind of telegraphing what's coming? It's gonna be a really dangerous and terrible time. So this guy, I put out on Twitter, I said, I said, dude, I don't think you know this or not, but the hat that you're wearing, as you're talking in a goofy voice, sped up to sound funny. I don't know if that's his girlfriend or his wife behind him, but he, he's wearing a Fertilise. Now, we've talked about the Fertilise a lot. Fertilise is the trident, right? Fertilise. Remember how we talked about the trident coming and I said it was like a judgment that was coming? And, and I explained to everybody that the Fertilise is a mark of slavery. It's like a brand. Like if, if, if I was a slave to a system, they would brand me with that. That's the thing. Like the king, you know, the king has that fur to lease. Prince Charles, King Charles, he's king now. He's gonna be coronated soon on Jacob's pillow. It's not the real pillow, the pillow's somewhere else. We're gonna talk about that in the future. But I think it's strange because I say to myself, does he even know? 911, winter is coming and uh, you know, I mean, he's got millions, over a million subscribers. You know, he's famous. Start to think, it's like, is everybody that's famous, are they all in on the joke? With all of the interesting signs and wonders we're getting from the heavens. Like my last video, this video right here, which I just did, where I talked about the uh, SpaceX launch of the, the most powerful rocket of all time and how it just blew up. And then I reminded you all of a dream I had one year earlier about a rocket blowing up and my concern for the city and the coming days, these are heavenly shows. Just like the, uh, the, 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 the clouds that covered Istanbul, all of a sudden out of the blue, these clouds came and just turned day to night and everybody was freaking out about it. And as well they should, they were mamatis mam clouds, which means mama, mama. Mama, darkness is covering the land. You know why? Because the Evil Dead is rising. Evil Dead is rising. It's the new, new movie that's coming out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, it's an interesting time. It's getting rave reviews, of course. Jeremy Johns, who does a lot of uh, cool movie review shows, he, of course, he really, he praised it, how great it is. It's a perverse, corrupt, terrible, scary, monstrous thing that I think will psychically bother people. I think these dark movies psychically affect us. I think it's almost like a weapon, if you will. But, you know, maybe I'm being a little 
Maybe I'm exaggerating because I have an 11 year old and I want him to grow up safe and protected. Good luck, Dad. Especially with my show. If you ever watch my show, he might have nightmares. Just kidding. You know, it was funny, speaking of um, Ethan. So I was talking about um, Mr. Beast and the thumbnail and everything else. And I was also talking about a couple other things because right now he's having a lot of issues because of Chris, you know? Chris was married and he had a ch child. And, and listen, you know, I, I mean, God doesn't look to the outside man, he looks to the heart. So I'm not gonna get into any of that nonsense. But I will say that a lot of videos have been circulating about Mr. Beast and with Chris. One of them was where Chris was basically saying, yeah, 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 we get it. You're Mr. Beast. We are Legion. We are many. I am Mr. Beast. We are like a Legion. We are one. We are many. Messed up. Not quite as messed up as if you think about what Donald Trump's saying about homeless people. He's like, remember, remember I told you a while ago, the laws are gonna change. And I, I said, you're gonna start hearing people say, oh, you're gonna be put to death for this, you're gonna be put to death for that. And it's gonna be crazy. Well, guess what he's saying now? He's like, now if you're homeless, we're gonna arrest you. That's right, T take a listen. It's ban urban camping wherever possible. Violators of these bans will be arrested, but they will be given the option to accept treatment <laughs> and services if they're willing to be rehabilitated. Many of them don't want that, but we'll give them the option. Now, that's one thing, right? Of course, because you know, what they did was they, they allowed things to get so messed up. That's the thing, the people that are in charge. It's almost like they did it on purpose. So that, you know, when you don't have a home, you're gonna be in trouble. Now, now, people with good credit are gonna be paying more. <laughs> And guess what? Wait till the tax credits end. That's coming to an end. A lot of these tax credit things, things you used to be able to write off, they're going bye-bye. You all thought that everybody was on your side. And you start to realize, no. So you better put your faith in God because if you're with God, God's gonna, God's gonna provide for you. God makes a way in the wilderness. God makes a way when we're facing those, those raging waters of the sea. He's gonna part them. Even though the enemy's coming at us to destroy us, he's gonna part them and we're gonna be free. Speaking of rivers and parting, you know the Ohio River? Kim Shady, the real Kim Shady, she shares some really cool stuff. I think she has a YouTube channel too, but you can find her on Twitter. She posted this about the Ohio River, which I thought was interesting. Kind of like saying that it was the, the new River Jordan. So that's something, says something. You know, because of course I've explained to you all that Egypt is, it's a concept, not a literal place. And that, you know, like Babylon's like literally down the street from me. That's why we have obelisks everywhere. That Egypt is the system that's going to be overthrown by Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar's at the door right now. Babylon's at the door right now. Going to make war against the whore. That's how the, that's how the story goes in the book of Revelation. It seems like it's all happening. It's literally happening. It's playing out. It's playing out. The question is, are we going to be okay? The answer is yes, we are. We are, regardless, because we're God's children, right? You know, we're God's. We're the, we're the we're the vessel of clay. Can the uh, the vessel say to, to to He who made it, Why did you shape me like this? Why did you put me in at this point in time? No, We've gotta trust God. We gotta trust each other. We gotta love each other. We gotta share my videos around people. We gotta subscribe. If you're not subscribed, you're being a goofball. Subscribe, make sure you are, it helps me. You got no idea, just by hitting that subscribe button. I know it's probably a pain. Very few of you that watch are subscribed, okay? I know I have supposedly a lot of subscribers. YouTube doesn't tell them all. Could you imagine if there was a notification to every one of my subscribers when my videos came out? I, I, would, I would never be like, hey, please, please hit the like. It would just happen. But the system wants to promote the system. But God's coming in here and he's gonna put the system. He's putting it to an end. It's the death blows of the system. So be excited, be prepared, love each other, and don't get too freaked out. And maybe none of this matters in the grand scheme of things. But I will say, I think it's gonna happen, all of it. Everything I say, I think it's gonna happen and it is. All right, I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Enjoy the trailer to my novel. If you haven't gotten a copy of it, get it. It's, there's, it's more than just an awesome read. There is so much more to it. You want to you wanna know more about God? I'm telling you, that, that book's going to help you too. It's going to help you too like you wouldn't believe, especially since it was written for this day. I didn't know it at the time, but here we are. 
All right, I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. September 10th. Mars hangs closer to the Earth than it has in 6,000 years. Like the light that led men from the East to a child in a manger, it could well be a sign of good things to come. Thomas James shall be his name. The world will change because of him. In the small town of Bethel, in a time not unlike our own, a child with a great purpose is born. Years later, alienated by its peers and abused, Thomas suffers a devastating loss. When it appears he has nothing left to live for in the world, this is when his true calling begins. While trying to escape the sinister powers that be, a terrifying vision haunts him. Miraculous events seem to follow the peculiar young man as he struggles to come to terms with what he was born to do. The stage is set. The time is at hand. The truth will rise and a revolution will begin. The startling revelation of who Thomas James is, truly, will change the lives of those around him and set off a chain of events long ago foretold. There is more to this novel than one might think. Inside these pages hides a treasure just waiting to be discovered. So if you've ever wondered if there's more to life, or why it is we suffer, then this story will not only captivate you, it may just open your eyes to a truth that could set you free. Find out what is in us all that makes us heed the calling.